Today is August 30th. Tonight it's August 30th, which means tomorrow is the last day of August and then it will be time to say hello to you again. Last year I really wanted to talk to you. I really wanted to, but I didn't know how. Our relationship used to be very clear, very repetitive, but in a comforting sort of way. For the majority of my life, almost all of my life that I can remember, you were a beginning. You were the start of me as another student, another year older, a little bit wiser, a little bit nervous. And I don't know what to do with you now that that's not the case. You're still a signifier of new beginnings to me, but it doesn't feel bracketed in the same way anymore. I've been sort of left adrift and I have to create those parameters for myself instead of simply going along with the script that I came to know very well and got to be quite good at, frankly. And so here we are, and we're about to say hello, and I really wanted to check in with you. You see, September, I really want this to be better than last year when we met. Last year I was lost and really had no idea what the rest of my life was going to look like, and I still don't, but I feel a little bit more in control now than when I did then. I was very guilty last time that I looked at you because I was hoping that by the time you arrived I would have a full-time job and that it would be the first stepping stone toward the rest of my life, my career, whatever. And it didn't happen. Um, I went back to school, but on the other end. I was substituting. And I enjoyed it, actually. It really wasn't so bad. <laughs> Um, there were a lot of good days and a lot of kids that I didn't get to say goodbye to that enriched my life a little. Hopefully I did the same for them. But anyway, September, what I'm trying to get at is that this year I do have a job and I want to finish a book this year. I want to finish my reading goals and I want to finally clear out my watch later playlist and... I have all of these goals for myself that most people try to make January 1st, but that's just never felt like the beginning of the year to me. Like, yes, the number of the year changes, but for me it always feels like a middle. It feels like it's almost my birthday. It feels like gray. It feels like cold. It feels like it's going to snow soon. But to me, despite fall being the season where everything dies, it's beautiful and it's crisp and there's so much about it that I love and that's all you. And so that really is a beginning and so these goals I'm telling to you instead of to January because I'm hoping that maybe you as you used to could kind of kick my butt into gear. <laughs> Can sort of make me commit to those things. Because as we both know September I've always been a procrastinator and we all know how this journey goes. I set a goal and I set it sometime when there's plenty of time to go. And I think about how I'm going to accomplish it and then do nothing towards it for quite a long time. And now over two thirds of the year through, usually you're the beginning of that sweet spot where there's just enough time left that I don't have to panic, but just enough time has passed that there's now pressure to finish. I'm hoping that my procrastination cycle will kick into gear and I will start getting things done because I have no choice and we're running out of time. <laughs> I really miss my friends, September. God, I didn't think growing up was gonna mean growing apart. And we haven't grown apart. We've just been apart, my friends and I. We haven't grown apart, that was a poor choice of words. We are just simply apart. We are far away and I never thought that Sundays would mean so much to me. It's never been a day of rest. Sundays were never the fun day of the weekend. Saturdays were the fun day of the weekend. Sundays were like, ugh, Monday's tomorrow. Friday and Saturdays, that's the days that everybody loves, right? But for me, all of a sudden, Sunday is not only my only day off, but the one day a week where I go home again. I'm always home, home. That's how we used to distinguish it at college. We were home, and then there's home, home. I'm home, home right now. But I only go home on Sundays because my roommates, my college roommates, they're not my roommates anymore. They're my home even more so than all of the people that I love that I grew up with. I think because I never got a chance to be in a not distance relationship with the people who I love who I grew up with. I'm used to that with them and that's just what's comfortable really. We just That's just how it goes. 
we're all like family. And so it's just like reconnecting with your sister after some time away. But with my college roommates, we created a home together. We weren't just reuniting. We were creating a space that we could sit in each other's silence wrapped up in that quiet and feel whole. And I don't have that anymore. And that has been really difficult. More difficult than I expected. And even when I get to see Janine, which is pretty frequently, I still, we both still feel like we're missing the others. Being with each other reminds us of when we were all together. And there's something bittersweet about that. So even though we're having a great time together, we're still not whole. At least that's my feel, my feeling. And so September, since you're not here to reunite us anymore, and never, you never were, <laughs> you just happened to coincide with the time that we would be reunited. It's no longer that time. You no longer signify that anymore. And it's hard. I want to blame you for it, even though it's not your fault. Time marches on. It's time's fault. <laughs> we have to move on to the next part of our lives. But there's no one else here to listen. And here you are. <laughs> Stuck with me for 30 days. So, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to talk to you. Because you used to mean so much to me. And I guess you still do. It's just I'm trying to figure out now what you mean when I'm not buying new notebooks, though I did anyway, actually, <laughs> just bought two, even though I didn't need to, just force of habit, I guess. But when I'm not printing out syllabi, when I'm not able to just go outside and walk around in a town where everybody is my age-ish and we're all there to do things that we're passionate about, I miss that. I think I'm missing the freedom of being able to just go without having to get into a car and having to pay for gas and having to worry about getting back home. I miss being able to just walk out my front door and live my life and be able to walk home in 15 minutes and that's that. I can't just move. I can't just get up and move. So I don't know, September. I guess I just have a lot of feelings. And I'd really like to try and get some things done before the end of the year so that when 2018 starts, I can really finally feel like I'm taking steps, that I've taken steps toward the rest of my life. I'm doing the thing I wanted to do, that I said I wanted to do with my degree, and I'm enjoying it, but I don't think it's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to write. So how do I get there? I really hope that you can push me to find out. These have been my thoughts, September. I don't know. This has been long. I don't know how I'm going to edit it down, if I will, but... Here's to hoping that you and I will read some good books together and write some good words and uh, catch up on all the things I want to catch up on so that I can move forward. I'll see you in a couple days.